All right, get ready, because this deep dive, uh, we're going behind the scenes on art direction. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, that thing that makes movies, you know, look like movies. Right. But, get this, our source is saying it's so much more than just, like, making things pretty. Oh, for sure. We're talking about a whole visual language that shapes how we see the story. Yeah. So I'm already like, whoa. Excerpts from Art Direction for Media Production is our main source here, and uh, looks like we're in for some pretty big aha moments. It's, it's really fascinating, yeah. So fill us in. What is Art Direction really about? You know, it really is like the secret sauce of any film. Okay. It's the art of creating this whole visual world, really immersing the viewer. Mm-hmm and guiding their emotions and perceptions without them even realizing it. So less decorating and more manipulating. That sounds kind of intense. Yeah, manipulating, maybe a strong word. Okay. But there's definitely guidance involved. Think yeah. about it, like every visual choice, yeah. from the color palette to the set design, all these things, they're decisions made to evoke a feeling or a message. Okay, yeah, I see how deep this goes. Ah. But before we get lost in the symbolism of, I don't know, chipped teacups or wallpaper patterns. Oh, right. Let's back up. What exactly is the role of an art director? Like, what do they do? The art director is essentially the visual storyteller. They're the architect of the film's whole aesthetic world. Wow. They work closely with the director, but their responsibility is everything. The entire look and feel. The whole thing? The whole thing, yeah. It's a huge job. Tons of collaboration with everybody. I bet. Costume designers, cinematographers. So they're kind of like the uh, conductor of a visual orchestra. Exactly. Making sure everything's in harmony. Yeah, yeah. And like a conductor needs the music. The score. Art director needs what? a vision. A vision, yeah. Right from the start. Mm -hmm. That's where the initial concept development is so important. And that's where we see mood boards, right? Yeah. I've heard of those, but I always thought they were just like, you know, pretty collages. Oh, they're more than that. Okay. Mood boards are visual inspiration for sure. Right. But they're also tools to communicate a specific aesthetic vision. Okay. Like think of them as visual roadmaps. Roadmaps. Yeah, guiding the entire team towards a unified look and feel. So it's not just about finding, you know, a cool picture of a vintage typewriter for a period piece. Right. It's about why that typewriter matters to the story's mood. Exactly. How it fits with the costumes and the set. You got it. Whoa. Okay, I'm seeing movies in a whole new way. I know, right? And this is just the beginning. Our source mentions, like, a ton of responsibilities. A lot. Set design, costumes, even graphics and VFS. Yeah, it's a big job. Where do we even start with all that? Well, let's start with set design. It's usually the most prominent visual element. Okay, makes sense. But remember, it's not just about a pretty backdrop. Set design is storytelling. Every detail. Yeah. From the architecture to the, uh, I don't know, clutter on a table. Yeah. All of it can reveal something about the characters or their world. So it's like the set is a character. In a way, yeah. Uh -huh. A rundown set might reflect inner turmoil. Oh, interesting. While a sleek, minimalist apartment, you know, mm -hmm. that could suggest emotional detachment. Mm. It's all about using the environment to tell the story. That's fascinating. Yeah. What about costumes? I always thought that was all on the costume designer. Oh, they definitely bring the clothes to life, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the art director ensures the costumes match the overall style and tell us about the characters. Okay. Costumes can reveal their social status, the time period, mm -hmm. even foreshadow events. Wait, hold on. Foreshadow events? Oh, yeah, totally. Like, yeah. imagine a character who starts out in perfect, you know, tailored clothing. Okay. But then as their situation gets worse, their clothes get more worn and tattered. Ah, clever. So we see their decline visually, too. Exactly. It adds depth to their story. Officially mind blown. I never thought about clothes like that. It's amazing the thought that goes into it. So if sets and costumes are like silent actors, what about color and lighting? Ah, color and lighting are like the mood music of a film. Oh, okay. They work on us subconsciously, mm. you know, to evoke emotions and set the tone for the scene. You know what? I think I get it. Like, think yeah. about a thriller. Oh, yeah. Good example. Lots of dark blues and grays, right? It creates that unsettling feeling. Exactly. You wouldn't wow. see that in a lighthearted rom-com. Not at all. It'd be totally wrong. So each genre has its own colors. In a way, yeah. Like, cool colors, like blue, can be calming, but they can also feel isolating. Right. It depends. And then you have warm colors, reds, oranges. Those are often used in restaurants. Really? Why? To stimulate appetite. Interesting. So there's psychology behind all this. Oh, absolutely. It's all about using color to tell the story. It's like a secret code. 
It really is. Now, the last thing on the list, this one sounds really technical. Which one? Graphics and VFX. What does the art director do there? Basically, they make sure that all the visuals, even the digital ones, fit the style. Gotcha. Imagine a gritty war film with, like, cartoony graphics. That would be so weird. Right, totally out of place. Yeah, like a pop song in the middle of Beethoven. Exactly. <laughs> the art director keeps the style consistent so everything feels unified. Okay, so the art director is like this visual superhero. I like that. With all these tools and responsibilities. But how do they actually do it? That's a great question and one we'll get into in the next part of our deep dive. Ooh, can't wait. Stay tuned, everyone, because we're just getting started. There's so much more to explore. We'll be back after a short break to explore the techniques and principles of art direction. It's going to be fascinating. Welcome back. Still thinking about all those art director responsibilities. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot. Set design as character development. Costumes giving us clues about the plot. Right. It's like they're playing 40 chess with our brains. Uh-huh. In a way. Oh, but it's all for the story, right? It is, yeah. It all comes back to serving the story. So all these techniques and stuff, mm -hmm. it seems overwhelming. I can see that. Why should I, like the average viewer, even care about all this? Because art direction really changes how you experience a film. Okay. Even if you don't realize it, you yeah. know? It's about creating a world that pulls you in, makes you feel yeah. the story. Yeah, not just watch it. Exactly. Give me an example. How does this secret visual language actually work? Okay, let's take horror movies, a classic. Ooh, spooky. Think about those creaky old houses, dark hallways, flickering lights. Yeah, yeah, I get the vibe. Now, those things might be scary on their own. Right. But the art director makes them even scarier. How? Through their choices. Like, one flickering bulb is one thing. Okay. But if it's the only light light in a huge dusty attic... Oh, yeah, that's creepy. Suddenly you're scared of every shadow. True. It's all about the atmosphere. It is. The art director uses shadows, limited colors, even how the furniture is placed. To make us feel uneasy. Exactly. It's visual storytelling at its best. So it's not just looking scary, it's making us feel scared. Yeah, you could say that. Tapping into our fears. Manipulating our emotions, basically. Well, manipulate might be strong. Okay, okay. But there is an element of guidance here. Right, like steering us towards the intended feeling. Exactly. Skilled art direction helps you feel what the filmmaker wanted you to feel. Whether it's terror or joy or whatever. Right, depends on the genre. Okay, so it works for horror, but what about, I don't know, rom-com? Oh, totally different approach, of course. Yeah, no creepy addicts there. Think about those classic scenes. Meet cutes in sunny cafes, mm. first dates in cozy restaurants with twinkling lights. Yeah, totally different vibe. It's about warmth and intimacy. Even the colors are different, right? Absolutely. Pastels, vibrant hues, nothing too harsh. It's all intentional. Every element from the colors to the decorations mm -hmm. creates a specific mood. So even if I'm not like analyzing the set design, my brain is still picking up on it. Oh yeah. Art direction works on multiple levels. Wow. Often without us even knowing. This is making me realize how much I've missed. I know. It's a whole new way of seeing things. Like I've been watching movies with only half my brain. Uh-huh. In a way. So once you become aware of these techniques, mm -hmm. it opens up a whole new world. You start to appreciate the artistry, the intention behind it all. Okay, we've covered how it shapes our emotions. Right. But the source also mentions visual storytelling. Yeah, that's a big one. What does that even mean? Is it just show, don't tell? It's more than that. It's using visuals to tell us things that aren't said out loud. Okay, my mind is ready to be blown again. Give me an example. Imagine two characters having a tense conversation. Okay, got it. The dialogue might sound fine, even friendly. Mm -hmm. But visually, the art director can hint at the tension underneath. Interesting. How? Maybe they're physically far apart, showing distance. Oh, I or one character is always in shadow, the other in bright light. Showing power imbalance. Yeah, yeah, subtle cues like that. Exactly. Those visual cues add layers to the scene. Telling us things the characters might not even know. Right, it's like a secret story happening visually. And those cues can even contradict what's being said, right? They can, yeah. Yeah. It creates irony or foreshadowing. So much depth. There's one more big thing from the source. What's that? World building. How does art direction create those believable worlds in sci-fi and fantasy? World building is where art direction shines. It's creating a visual style that fits that world's rules. Makes sense. 
Every detail has to feel authentic, like it belongs there. So not just a cool spaceship, but how that spaceship fits in the world. Exactly. Think of Star Wars. The art direction is so unique. Oh yeah, you know it's Star Wars right away. Exactly. Even if you've never seen it before. The spaceships, the costumes, even the aliens, they all look Star Wars. And that consistency makes the world believable. Right, the more detailed the world. The easier it is to get lost in the story. Like, if I see a weird gadget in a sci-fi film, mm -hmm. and it fits the world, I'll believe it's real. Exactly. It's about internal consistency. The more believable the world, the more we uh, care about the characters. Exactly. You get, this is blowing my mind. Art direction is shaping everything we see. It really is. We might not always notice it, but it's there. Working its magic. Okay, I'm starting to get it. It's not just pretty pictures. Nope. It's using visuals to create an experience. An immersive emotional experience, yeah. I feel like I've been missing out. <laughs> Don't worry, we all start somewhere. But the question is, how do we learn to speak this visual language? Ah, that's what we'll explore in the final part of our deep dive. Stay tuned, everyone, because we're about to reveal the secrets to becoming a more discerning viewer. It's all about unlocking the hidden language of film. Welcome back to the deep dive. It's been amazing exploring art direction. It really has. Like, I've got these new eyes, seeing all these hidden meanings in the visuals. It's hard to go back once you see it. Right? Seriously. But how do we go from, like, regular viewers mm. to, you know, visual detectives? How do we develop this art direction awareness? It's easier than you think. You don't have to become an expert overnight. Okay, good. It starts with just changing how you watch next time you see a film. Yeah. I challenge you, go beyond the plot, the characters. Okay. Really look at the visuals, the colors, the lighting, the shots. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself, what mood are they creating? How does it support the story? So be more present, more mindful of what we're seeing. Exactly. Don't just let it wash over you. Engage with it. Like trying to crack a code. Yeah, kind of. And don't be afraid to pause. Study a shot. Oh, interesting. Look at how things are arranged. The colors, the light, where the characters are standing. Like a hidden picture puzzle, finding all the details. Uh-huh. A little bit. Mm -hmm. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. Okay, so mindful viewing, shot analysis. Mm -hmm. Any other tips for us wannabe visual detectives? Here's a weird one. Try watching with the sound off. What? Really? I know, sounds crazy. But it makes you focus only on the visuals. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, that would be tough, but I get it. You have to pay attention to faces, body language, all those little details. Figure out what's going on. Exactly. It shows you how much the visuals alone can communicate. And once you start noticing those things, yeah. you see them everywhere. Not just movies, but TV, ads, even games. Absolutely. We're surrounded by visual storytelling all the time. It's not just art. It's how we communicate as humans. You got it. Art direction principles, they're everywhere. Think about advertising. Oh, yeah. They're masters at this. Using every trick to make us buy stuff. Colors, composition. It's all designed to make things seem irresistible. Once you know the tricks, you're less likely to fall for them. Exactly. You become a smarter consumer. So art direction isn't just about movies. It's about thinking critically. It is. Understanding the power of images, how they shape our world. This has been amazing. I feel like I see film differently now and just the world in general. That's what we hope for. And remember, this is just the start. There's always more to learn. Keep watching. Keep analyzing. There's always something new to discover. Well said. We're going to wrap up this deep dive, but before we go, yeah. a challenge for our listeners. As you go about your day, pay attention to the visuals around you. Oh, good idea. Billboards, store displays, even website designs. Mm. Think about the choices they made, the messages they're sending. You'll be surprised what you find. The world is a canvas and art direction is the brush. Love that. So go explore, everyone. And until next time, keep diving deep.